Hi everybody. Today uh, I will do uh, lab EL228. That's the transistor by Essence uh, by uh, LT Spice. Well, uh, for the lab, I do a summarization. Um, as the, you have the circuit, this is the common collector circuit. And then uh, you need to analyze you know, the circuit. From uh, the circuit diagram of B, by applying KVL or Kirchhoff voltage law, you know that VCC, that's the supply voltage, is going to be uh, uh, going to equal to uh, the voltage drop across the base resistor. Uh, plus the voltage difference between uh, the base and the emitter or VBE and then uh, plus the voltage drops across RE or emitter resistance um, so you have equation IB that's the V or RB equal to IB RB plus VBE and the voltage drops across the emitter resistor is equal to IE RE and you know that IE equal to IB plus IC and IC equal to beta 0 IB where beta 0 is the transistor gain now we want to write everything in the term of IC only from equation 3 you have IB equal to IC over beta 0 and from 2 you have IE equal to IC over beta 0 plus IC and then you can have our IC then you that's going to equal to IC multiplied by 1 plus 1 over beta 0 and then you substitute <coughs> IC sorry um, oh IE in the term of IC in equation 1 and uh, you can work out this by yourself then your RC equal to beta 0 VCC minus VBE over RB plus beta 0 plus 1 uh, multiplied by RE with our RC and you want to see how deviations of RE affects IC you simply do a partial derivative of IC with respect RE Um, f the purpose of uh, the lab is to show you uh, there are uh, different type of circuits but uh, the main point is that uh, we want IC uh, uh, stable as fast as possible um, as this can be you know and uh, That's why we're going to work on two circuits, and the first one is the the original circuit. You already have our IC equal to beta zero VCC minus VBE over RB. In the case of our IE equal to zero, the first step is we're going to work on uh, the room temperature at the room temperature, and you need to record VB, VC, VE, IB, IC in the table number one you can just uh, fill up uh, the table or you can uh, just copy the output file after you do simulation you know you can do both and uh, let's see something missing here sorry about that Okay, just follow me then. Remember, you need to take the data for VB, VC, VE, IB, and IC. Um, also, uh, you know the percent change of VC. You can find that from uh, VC of 1.1, that's at the room temperature, you know, like um, 70. 27 degree Celsius 
and we see of our 1.2 you're working on uh, at the temperature seven <coughs> sorry 70 degrees Celsius and you multiply by 100 divided by we see from 1.1 uh, or when you work at room temperature 27 degrees Celsius same as the percent change in IC um, step 1.5 you need to get back to work at room temperature 27 degrees Celsius now you vary beta or uh, the gain uh, you have 100, 200 and the default is 300 just type in you go to uh, uh, the command or uh, piece by directive simply type in dot step npn that the number of the transistor npn transistor to n3904 and uh, the bracket bf that's the gain list 100 200 and 300 also you will need to take down the data for vb vc percent change you know the same as the 1.1 uh, 1.2 and uh, then i looking for a plot between i see the collector current and the gain so you have different gain 100 200 and 300 if you are summarized you know how many uh, table or how many plots and how many plots that you need to uh, put in your report before submitting to me then uh, the next step 1.4 now uh, you need to vary RB you need to change RB value uh, from 910k uh, to be RB you know change the value like uh, I will show you in the circuit and just like you know SPICE directive dot step PARM that parameter and that there also are a B and you need to do a plus or minus you know five percent from 910 you plus you minus 10 percent sorry five percent that's give you a 864.5 K ohms and for plus five percent you have our 910 plus 910 multiplied by 0 0.05 and that's give you a 955.5k ohms and 7k is the increment and uh, you need to record you know um, same VB, VC percent change in VC, VE, IB, IC percent change in IC according to uh, RB vary Um, and do the sending for RB equal to 955.5k and you need to plot IC and RB <coughs> now uh, for uh, more stable circuit you have our newer circuit that's part 2 circuit number 2 um, you add our R2 Um, also the bleeder current is just the the current that flowing through IB and um, actually the bleeding circuit is uh, the bleeding currents is that the current flowing through R1 and it's going to uh, divide it you know like go to the base become the base current and uh, go to uh, R2 so the bleeder current simply become uh, the base current and uh, you can work out you know uh, for IC that's going to be equal to uh, this equation this is R1 in parallel with R2 and for BB 
it's just like voltage divider at this point that's become a uh, you know VCC uh, multiplied by R2 and divided by R1 plus R2 you know that voltage divider <coughs> sorry the first step you do normal or DC operating point you record you know VB VC VE I bleeder IB and IC again I bleeder from the circuit I have where uh, uh, the bleeder circuit become uh, equal to IR1 minus IR2 okay you have the current flowing through this one and some of the current flowing through R2 and the rest fl flowing to uh, the best uh, become the best current for IR1 I have uh, the current 5 by 5 7 10 to the negative 5 minus IR2 that's the 4.93 10 to the negative 5 that's give me a 6.4 10 to a negative 6 okay I already put you know down the voltage and the current now uh, do the same you need to work on the temperature 70 or degree Celsius simply type uh, piece by directive to be dot T E M P 70 and you do the same thing record everything and uh, you repeat the step now you vary beta 0 and then you vary R1 come plus and minus 5% so you probably have a clear idea about the lab process again part one you work on uh, um, the circuit at room temperature that are 27 degrees Celsius but for part two ah sorry for part one you're using uh, the circuit one right and then uh, you vary um, the gain you vary uh, the sister and uh, also you work on uh, 70 degree census for part two you have uh, you work on the circuit number two and you repeat the same steps as part one so probably not the uh, get confused for the report I'm looking for two tables and four plots two table a table one from part one table two from part two that's there from the circuit number two and four plots from part one you have uh, two plots from part two you have two plots uh, that's become the plot between IC the collector current and uh, the gain and also uh, the plot between uh, IC collected current and uh, the sister okay now let's get to uh, the circuit this is the circuit number one uh, actually this is the default you don't need to put your uh, temp but I just put that down because later on we're going to work on uh, temp or 70 degree and we put uh, this one uh, the SPICE analysis that's the operating point DC operating point okay so everything ready just don't forget to label you know your pins this is based collector and emitter now you hit the simulation as I mentioned earlier you can, can just simply you know copy this one and put in uh, Microsoft Word and you know just type in this is come from uh, uh, the circuit working at the room temperature 27 degree and uh, yeah that's for the circuit number one next you are change the temperature here to be your 70 you know degree Celsius 
and you take down uh, the data for uh, what? Um, VB, VC, VE, and also uh, IB, IC, and RE, and find the percent change of our IC, percent change of VC, when uh, the temperature change, you know, from 27 degree to 70 degree Celsius. Okay, let's see if we have uh, now uh, you vary uh, the gain, right? I already have the circuit here. It's very uh, straightforward. So uh, for piecewise directive, just right here, you go to edit, you go to uh, piecewise analysis. I'm oh, sorry, directive. Um, you just type, you know, dot step npn to n three nine zero four be at least one hundred, two hundred, and three hundred. I explained that before. And uh, you hit run. You're going to have the plot. You can see that for the x axis or the horizontal axis, this that become a gain. You have gained one hundred. You have gained two hundred and three hundred. Now you need to add uh, something that you want to plot. That's the become uh, IC, right? That's what you're looking for. Here. And you can take our, you know, data. You just double click on IC here to activate your cursor. Your cursor one. You want to activate uh, the cursor number two. You just double click again. Now uh, the cursor tool is uh, it's already activated. Okay, you just look for uh, IC at the gain 200, uh, IC at the gain 100 and 300. That's all. Um, next, you're going to vary RB or the best voltage. Um, let me open. Uh, Best transistor. Um, supposed to have uh, very um, thirty two liter. Okay, this one. Oh, sorry. Um, I don't have a. Uh, we well, let's work together. Something not right. Let's get back to uh, um, second one. Very game. And by following uh, the instruction, let's get back to uh, um, part one. Okay, this is your very RB. You simply type uh, dot step para param RB. Okay. And uh, you need <coughs> you first you need to change uh, the value from nine hundred and ten k to be your uh, RB with uh, the bracket. So let's get back to uh, your circuit. I'm going to save this one as the very uh, RB. Okay, this is your RB. So you simply change the value of RB from 910K to be uh, just RB. That is good, okay. And now uh, you need to change this one. Let's see, um, just to make it simple. Okay. So to make it clear, Let's see if we can. Okay, that's better. So, so for the SPICE directive, you just need to type dot step P A R E M. That's parameter, and the values are B, 
and then uh, 910 k minus the five percent that uh, 864.5 k and then uh, plus five percent that's the 955.5 k and the increment is 7k now you hit ok you have everything and you're ready to do the simulation oops ok just hit run and you already have IC over there and this is your um, for the x-axis this is your 910k ohms minus 5% and this is a plus 5% so you just get the cursor and do the reading throughout the table now uh, let's move to our step number 2 you have a new circuit this is the circuit number 2 um, you just repeat the same st step as the in part one. Um, this is uh, you have the bleeder circuit. You simply add R two, connect to the base, and uh, to the ground. You repeat the same thing. You work on uh, the no the normal, uh, the normal temperature that's twenty seven degree, and then you are. Uh, change the temperature to be your 70 degree fill up the taper and also a very uh, the gain beta 0 the last one is very uh, R1 fill up the taper okay so that's all about the lab uh, EL228 the async transistor you focus on uh, your IC, the collected current, and you're working on uh, two circuits to be able to compare. You know which one is better. It's just like modify your circuit. It doesn't depend on uh, a very better, very you know too much compared to the circuit number one. That's the conclusion. Okay. Bye.